Someone didn't do the painting, the decorating. Someone didn't do the electrics occasionally. Um, someone didn't do, you know, the plumbing occasionally. Someone didn't do the ushering. Someone didn't do the car park. I mean, there's all sorts of things that make the whole. But if you try to do what you're not called to do, then what happens is selfish ambition gets in the way. And then what you get is the whole body suffers and the heating doesn't come on. Or the whole body suffers and there's chaos in the car park. Or the whole body suffers and, you know, the ushers don't get people sitting in the right place and then you find that there's big gaps and, you know, everyone's stepping on everyone and um, then people that come in late are forced right onto the front row. That you've got to have people, everyone fulfilling their function, everything flows sweetly, and, and the person who's making the lunch remembers that I always run over time. Um, it's so important that everyone fulfills their function. The school, it's no good in the school. Um, Peter does chemistry, I think, or physics. Um, now, is the headmaster? Now, if he didn't do his physics and he tried to do English, we'd all be in a state. Why? Because we wouldn't have a physics master. But in the body of Christ, it's totally different. Everyone's got a function. Everyone's got a part to play. And it's important you understand that. I thank God for the choir. I, I'm not a choir member because they, they clamoured for me to join, but, you know, I resisted. <laughs> okay, well, better go on the next bit. Um, now, we ought to respect each other. Uh, one of the things is lack of respect. Uh, it's amazing how uh, people don't respect authority when it's God-given. Now, I think it's so important if someone's given a job to do, let them get on with the job. What they don't need is someone every five minutes trying to um, change their job. I have never ever walked in, uh, Peter's there so I can notice him, I've never walked in, have I, Pete, and tried to teach physics. The total reason for that is I know nothing about it, really. Uh, I, all I can remember is Hooke's Law. I think it is. That shows you, I can't even, no, no, it began with H anyway. Anyway, it was, you know, <laughs> I can't even remember that. Um, but, uh, dear Lord, um, in chemistry, you know, and I, I, I did many experiments, none of which was on the syllabus. In the body, if any organ ceases to function, the whole body is thrown out of gear. A and it's amazing, but if, if someone doesn't fulfill their function, everything, and, and people get miserable over the stupidest things. Oh, yeah, I don't like doing this, I'd like to do something else. Well, do what you, God's given you to do and shut up complaining. If you're happy in doing what God's given you to do, it's a happy world. But if you're always... Uh, have you ever worked in a company where you've got a Barrett room lawyer? He's so smart, he knows exactly what the bosses aren't doing. And um, he can tell you what's wrong with the company, but he's only the caretaker. Uh, but really, it should be the managing director listening to him. A and you've got those people in the church. It's amazing how many people in the church could tell me how to do things. Um, you know, they're just so smart. It's amazing that they aren't actually the pastor. But there you are. Every single one of us is an important part of the body of Christ. Uh, you can't live without me. And unfortunately, I can't live without you. So we've got to learn to get on together. Uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, and if someone's not in the body, the sooner they leave, the better. Uh, it's as simple as that. But 
where you've got a team that's working together, it's fantastic. Uh, and uh, I, I was a great lover of sport in my younger days. When we played rugby, you know, there were times when somehow something clicked and you became a team. I don't know what it is. It, it's a kind of imperceptible um, unification of um, violence um, in rugby. But, but you know, <laughs> I don't know what other way to express it. But if you've played rugby, you'll know what I mean. And suddenly the whole team just functions. Now, you can play eight matches and, and it doesn't happen. And then there's a one time when everything clicks. And I, after that, I played hockey to a high standard um, up in Lancashire in, in the leagues when I injured my knee. I had to play hockey. And I loved that. You know, and, and the trouble was I became a Christian. And um, it had great impediments in playing rugby. I never got sent off playing rugby, and that is a miracle. But everyone was throwing punches anyway, so... Um, <laughs> um, but when we played hockey, uh, there's a time when the team clicks. And do you know, there's a time when a church, if everyone gets the right attitude, there's a time when it will excel anything. The way the Bible puts it is we come together and God inhabits his temple. Now as individuals, it's one thing, but there's a time when suddenly, imperceptibly, everything changes. And, and that is when God, um, you know, he, he actually inhabits the praise of his people, but there's... there's a command of blessing where there's unity. And when people have all got their little gripes, it never works. We must learn to be compassionate with each other. Um, one of the things I, I find terrible is that some people have no compassion for someone else. If someone gets in a mess and it's not their fault, you should help them. And, and there are people that something unfortunate happens and they need compassion and care and a church should be a caring church and um, if a part of your body is ill your whole body is ill and suffers in sympathy you know there have you ever had a toothache i haven't but i mean if you have one uh you know and your cheek swells and everything and you're in agony you know you've got an abscess um your whole body goes out of kilter. And if something's wrong, you have to get it fixed. And compassion and care should be care enough for the individual who's in desperate need. You care. And the compassion in ministry, I find, the compassion has gone out of ministry. And without love, and care it's not Christ it's just um, religion